Welcome, my name is Dominic and this is Max Level EDC and today we're going to be doing something very special. We're going to be part of a collaboration, a multi-channel collaboration from people all over the world. And as you're watching this video right now, those individuals are releasing their video at exactly the same time. All of these videos are going to have this exact same basic premise where we are going to construct a $600 or less EDC that includes at least six items, six categories. And those categories are a knife, a flashlight, a pen, a multi-tool, a wallet, and some form of key organizer. And if we have something left over, we can include some wild cards as it were. So I'm pretty jazzed about this. I think it's gonna be really interesting to see the perspective taken from all of these content creators and if you agree, feel free to watch their content as well. I will be putting a link to all of their videos, both in the first post of the comments and also in the description. So I hope you enjoy. Let's go ahead and get right to it. Now, what knife do you choose? Do you go budget? Do you go 150 plus? I couldn't make up my mind with these seven knives. So, as you're gonna see, my everyday carry choices are going to allow me to have chosen any of these seven for this video. But I did force myself to choose one and you will see it at the end of the selections. First up is the wallet called the Robinson, which is a collaboration between myself and Country Bear Company. Now, I really like a dense tool set, and this is a wallet organizer that fits around six cards plus cash and the other items that we're about to talk about. It's a really awesome wallet, and I highly recommend checking it out. You're gonna to wanna to contact him over on Instagram, and I will put a link to his information down in the description. Next up is the pen, and I find myself going to this very inexpensive one that I have recently discovered with the $100 USA made EDC. This is the Paca pen, and these are fantastic. They're made in the United States. They have replaceable ink inserts, and they're watertight, compact, and cheap, so that if you lose them, they're not the end of the world. But I find myself really enjoying it in general. Now the remaining two slots on the Robinson wallet are all one multi-tool is the way I'm going to consider them. This is a Style PS by Leatherman. It has no blade so it can go practically anywhere and I have added a couple extra features such as a bit holder that fits on the back which is 3D printed and you can get on eBay, link in the description, as well as at least one set of bits from the Leatherman bit kit. So I can mix and match the 10 bits that I end up choosing, but it just works super well with the style PS as I have set it up. So combined, it offers so much tool density that I just really feel quite satisfied with this setup. Now for the flashlight, I chose the Sofren HS05. Now this uses either a AA or 14500 battery with a maximum output of 1000 lumens. Now this right angle flashlight has a reversible clip, a magnetic tail cap that lets you attach it to all kinds of different places. You can set it up on a table if you're working on something and writing. It's just the right flashlight, not for tactical purposes, but just for general use and being able to actually see what you're working on. I couldn't be happier with it. And when you think about the fact that it's less than $30 for a kit that includes the battery and charger and everything else, it's kind of amazing. Now I know what you're thinking. You definitely don't have to spend this much on a key organizer, but I hate keys. I hate them. And having something that I enjoy that deals with the rattling and all the shenanigans that happens with keys, that makes me quite happy and it's worth the money to me. Now they have other versions of this that are in aluminum and far, far cheaper, so I'd highly recommend checking those out. This one, I also included a flathead pry tool that they make also in-house. And uh, yeah, this one also has a mill pot clip. So this is like premium, okay? But you can go with any combination and keep in mind that this will also expand to take any number of keys with different screw lengths as well. 
Now for my first wildcard entry, it's a right in the rain waterproof notebook. And I gotta say, I have not only become addicted to taking notes on a regular basis, but also just this notebook in general. I sweat sometimes when I'm outside doing activity or at the beach, and this just solves a lot of those problems. Now the last wild card item that I am going to have in this EDC is a Zippo lighter. Now I find lighters to be quite a bit more useful than people realize for repairing synthetic goods and other things as well. It also works as a secondary light source if needed, as well as an emergency tool. So when you combine all that, it just seems like a no brainer, at least to me. And this insert that allows you to have both a torch as well as a yellow flame is just awesome. I'm testing it out right now, but so far so good, loving it. Now swinging back around to the knives, I ended up narrowing it down to two. The Mini Beluga from Petrified Fish, which only runs around $53, or the Spyderco Spidey Chef, which actually runs anywhere from $260 to $270. So complete opposite ends of the spectrum. But for this video, I decided to go with the Spidey Chef. And as you have seen, I've been able to keep the whole budget in such a way that I could use either one and it would be fine. Just about a $200 difference. I'm really, really happy with this knife. LC200N is probably one of my favorite steels that exists. And it just can do things that other knives really can't. I don't have to worry about maintenance. It's just awesome. Now we're going to put the whole thing together and show you what my $600 EDC looks like. I'm really curious to see what you guys think and where you think I could have improved, what choices you would have made differently. And I'm hoping you will go and look at the choices made by the other participants in this collaboration because there is going to be a poll and a form for you guys to fill out to tell all of us which one you thought was the best. So I hope you will vote for me, but please be honest. If you like something else and someone else did better than I did, let me know. And there you have it. My take on a $600 EDC with the given constraints. I actually hem and hawed about a lot of this. Now I think I have more options than any human being should ever have in many of these categories. And it wasn't until the last minute that I chose a knife, basically. And it, the prices ranged from $53 up to $270. So because of that, I kept the EDC condensed enough and inexpensive enough that I could run with any of those knives. And a lot of times I usually carry a multi-tool that has a one-handed blade instead. So this was a very interesting thought process for me specifically. I'm curious though, if you were given the same budget and constraints, what would you include in your everyday carry? Give me your six, I'm very curious, and the bonuses. This was so much fun, and I hope it's one of many videos to come. Don't forget that as you're watching this video, there are other content creators posting their video right this very second. So all the links to their videos are gonna be both down in the description and in the comment section. I really appreciate your time. Thanks for stopping in and see you again soon.